Hey guys, Buff and Gamebed today bringing you a video, and today in our weapon conversion series, we are covering the ISO Hemlock and converting it to the BNT APC 300, or the Bruger and Thumet Advanced Police Carbine Chambered in 300 Blackout, or what it would mainly be in real life, 300 Whisper. We'll go into that a little bit here in the video. So this is the new weapon, the ISO Hemlock. Go ahead and do the conversion to the APC Advanced Police Carbine 300. Let's go ahead and back out. We'll show you some gameplay. With this weapon how it handles and the attachments here in the game so first off how do we unlock this weapon before we get into it so let's jump over to the battle pass this is going to be unlocked in tier uh b11 so basically the quickest path you can see i took here is straight from b0 over to the right to b11 so in this tier um you'll get the iso hemlock some double of weapon xp and some stickers, things like that. So you can see see these. The, here's the ISO Hemlock or the Bruger and Thumb APC 556. And this is a cool weapon because it is also available in 300 Blackout, which we'll be covering here today. So that's how you unlock that. Now, jumping into the weapon, first off, let's take a minute and look at this awesome uh, operator here. We also get in the Battle Pass at the tier before this for uh, Koenig. Definitely my favorite looking operator right now. This is a great outfit with this super Giga Chad backpack on there too. Just looking awesome. So that's a that's going to be my main operator there. We also have Ronan, obviously, uh, for the operators on the Specker. You can see his outfit also really nice with that M4, which we'll be covering in another video. So back to the weapon, APC 300. So for this conversion, let's go ahead and we will just select the base uh, weapon here for the ISO Hemlock and go into it. So here at base, we have the APC 556 five, now some key differences here we'll jump into first off for the attachments now for the barrel length in real life the barrel length is going to be around 12 inches on the apc 556 five, but the 300 blackout is going to vary uh, the 300 whisperer version i should say the apc 300 is going to vary from pretty much 8.7 to around uh 10 and a half inches so problem is with these barrel lengths they're not labeled with any sort of measurements on them so really i'm just kind of going off of uh my best guess what I can what I have here um, so the version we're gonna run with here for this APC 300 because the barrel is typically gonna be shorter than the 556 five, we're gonna run the series 4 MR this is gonna give us the best recoil control barrel or a heavier barrel at least uh, for the recoil control bullet velocity and the hip recoil control with the cons being the movement speed damage range hip fire accuracy, and the aim down sight speed. So we'll go ahead and select this. You could also potentially go with the RCQ7, but um, that one's just a I feel like might be control-wise probably not a viable option. But really, I think either of these are ideal for the APC 300. However, the Series 4 MR uh, looks more aesthetically correct for the real-life version. Go ahead and select that. Now, because we're going to be firing this in the... 762 by 35 or in this case the 300 blackout we're going to want a suppressor so here available finally here on this weapon in the unlock chain is the silent fire xg6 we've seen this suppressor i believe in private games for a while and now it's finally unlockable so this is a great suppressor sound suppression bullet velocity recoil smoothness and recoil control cons here are going to be the aim down sight speed aim walking uh speed and aiming stability now we're going to obviously put the the suppressor on because those 300 blackout or whisper rounds are really mainly designed uh especially the subsonics to be fired with a suppressor on there laser we'll go ahead and skip in this case for the optic we're just going to uh run any one to one and a half times optic i think is really suitable for this so in this case we're going to run the soro 7 is going to be that aim point optic there we'll leave the base stock however you can see the stock options available here a couple of these will build with different conversions going forward, but here we have the uh, collapsed buttstock as well. Really nice options here. Pretty true to real life for what uh, BNT offers. Rear grip, we will leave the base rear grip, but just so you guys can see the options that we do have here. Now the magazine. This is where things get start to get cool. So we have the base of the 30-round magazine in the 556 by 45 NATO. We have a 45-round magazine option and a 20-round option. So we'll leave the base 30 in this case. Ammunition, you can see we have all the 556 options available, and then we have the 300 blackout options available. All the 300 blackout options. So there's quite a lot of ammo. Make sure you remember to scroll over because there's more options here 
for the 300 blackout so in this case we're gonna be running the armor piercing rounds now one quick thing here you can see between the the size difference between the two 556 five, high velocity any 556 five, round is going to be that same size now comparing that to the uh, so this is 556 five, by 45 millimeter and then the 300 blackout or the 300 whisperer um, either of those are both going to be 762 by 35 millimeter so you can see the size difference in that round comparing them the 300 blackout with the 762 by 35 is a much larger round so um this is a a, a big big boy round traveling subsonic really intended for uh within 200 meter range so we'll go ahead and select the armor piercing rounds in this case bullet penetration damage no enemy skulls and vehicle damage go ahead and select that and you can see it's going to reduce our firing rate a little bit and our bullet velocity because it is a subsonic heavy round so we'll go ahead and select that and then for the underbarrel option, we do have a really nice new underbarrel option here available. We have a couple new attachments actually available with this weapon, but here we're going to run the Core BP-2. So this is actually really cool. This is going to give us just a bipod mount. It's essentially a bipod grip. However, um, it's a bipod mount. So this is actually a very similar to the, the custom uh, one that you see in a lot of the BNTs. I'll show the picture on screen when we get to the final design here. But this one, you don't have the, the cons of, I don't believe it's going to block it when you have canted optics on there like the bipod mount does. So that's really good, or the bipod grip. So the core BP2 gives us a really nice op underbarrel option here and allows us to mount as well. So really good optic there, or option, I should say, for the underbarrel. Now, really quick, a really cool um, optic attachment. I just wanted to go over here. There's a couple new attachments for this, but a new optic here that i was really hesitant to use for this video but it just wouldn't really uh make sense being feasible that we're running 300 uh blackout but here's a new optic the vigilant 30c iron so this is going to give us an a-type magnification with a canted mounted iron sight on it so you can see if i select that and we just rotate that you have the canted mounted iron sights on the picatinny rails there which is awesome i've been i've been dying for this type of of optic um where the canted mount is not attached to the optic and in this case is attached to the Picatinny rail. So that's our canted mount on the pick rails there, the 45 degree canted mount. Really nice. This optic is really, really cool. So I really quickly, I want to jump in and show you guys that. So let's go ahead and check it out really quick. Just so you can see eight times canted mount. So you can see there. Awesome looking optic. So that's, that's going to be really fun to use uh you unlock that by progressing up this weapon so going back to our soro 7 here and then we'll take a look at the camos and jump into the firing range and then in game so you guys can see this weapon so going back to the uh soro 7 looking at the camouflages here you can see they actually changed up the menu here thank god um, much easier now so we have the you can see the mastery camos available here for the hemlock some decent options here i think uh I think three of the four are actually really nice. I like these. And then you can see the all camo option, what they did here with the menu looks uh, a lot better. Cliffside has some nice options. And then solid colors, you can see black, clay, uh, olive. They also added unplumbed as part of the new shotgun. So maybe this is uh, for those of us that bought that plum loving bundle. They gave us the right plum camo for ourselves to use. So maybe that's uh, them apologizing by giving us the correct plum camo. So that's good news. But we'll leave it in solid black because it looks really good. The base camouflage that comes with this. Go ahead and back it out and uh, jump into the fire range quick. We'll take a look at the weapon more in more detail and then jump into the game. So first up, here's our inspect animation. Looks really clean here for the 300 blackout version of the APC uh 300 looks clean let's go ahead and let this thing rip full auto you can see the slower rate of fire coming out at around 600 rounds per minute in game through in real life it's around this it is the same 300 or excuse me 600 rounds per minute and pretty easy to control doesn't have crazy recoil especially with this barrel then the the benefits here is we can mount this this grip which is a huge benefit that, and there's no cons to it at all so it's actually um, probably going to be like one of my main grips going forward. It doesn't hurt our ADS speed or anything, which is really good. You can see there, pretty easy to get shots on target. And if we do the inspect one more time, he'll check that magazine. You'll see 
the armor piercing 300 blackout looks clean with the charging handle there is completely ambidextrous which we'll take a look at and it is a reciprocating charging handle so it's a little hard to see uh with the lighting and everything like that but that is actually reciprocating it's very hard to tell but it is a reciprocating charging handle when you're firing so it's just it's just reciprocating uh very fast that's why it's hard to see so backing out really quick look at the final version here of the weapon this is our apc 300 in this case it's firing 300 blackout instead of the 300 whisper um very similar cartridges they're pretty much indistinguishable they have some minor features however if if a weapon is not rated to be able to fire 300 blackout versus 300 whisper and you load the wrong magazine uh it could be very bad but the apc 300 uh was tested completely acceptable with 300 blackout it's rated safe but uh obviously they didn't add 300 whisper because of the similar similarities and uh it really wouldn't make sense to add a such a similar round to the game so 300 blackout's already there so that makes sense like i said the reciprocating ambidextrous charging handle so this is a lot of people i saw here saying this looks very similar to uh the acr or we're thinking it was the acr at, at first but obviously these more modern modular rifles which is what that program was originally for a lot of these weapons look very similar and a lot of controls are very similar so just keep that in mind a lot of a lot of weapons these days look very similar to the acr um the acr was kind of one one of but not the first to make such that more modernized modular design and we see that now with a lot of weapons including this one being bnt's um, apc 556 or apc 300 so just taking a look at this again now that charging handle you can see on the right and left hand side so it's ambidextrous now in real life it wouldn't be on both sides unless you custom install something like that um, you would install it one side or the other, I'm pretty sure. So that's a feature here in the game. Again, that would be more of a customized thing that you would do third party um, or an aftermarket option. Now we have the fire select controls again there above the pistol grip on the left and the right hand side. Fully ambidextrous. Those are um, a different than they would be in real life. There's a, a minor difference. BNT has their own thing that they typically do um, as far as it wouldn't be it wouldn't be the sra they would have different symbols and things like that but again minor minor detail here in the game but that's completely ambidextrous for the firing controls we have the magazine relief lease which is that uh right behind the magwell that big fat button on the left and the right hand side is the magazine release and then we have the bolt release bolt catch is that one right above it that smaller button there on the left and the right hand side um is uh the bolt release bolt catch so we obviously have a uh, full length Picatinny rail on top. We have Picatinny rail on the bottom left and right. And then we also have the handguard is compatible with M lock in real life here in game. Um, it's pretty accurate to what it is in real life. So it is compatible with M lock looks really clean. You can see it's those, that's how those pick rails are attached on the left and the right hand side. And then we have the full length pick rail, the buttstock option, pretty similar to what it is in real life. Uh, minor differences again, but this is a clean looking weapon and again you can see with that 300 blackout magazine there you have it labeled 300 blackout subsonic versus if we look at the uh the 556 magazines actually if we take that off quick and you can see the 556 magazine is different so it has just a, a windowed p mag with k1021 on there versus when we throw on the 300 it's going to change the magazine to say 300 blackout subsonic so that is our final design here for the apc 300 go ahead now and we will jump into the gameplay with this weapon we're playing on the new multiplayer map or the reintroduced multiplayer map museum actually a really clean map i do like this map i liked it in the beta and i like it even more now it seems like they made i don't know if i just haven't played it in a while or it just looks it, how nice the map looks like maybe they did something with the lighting hard to tell here but a really nice uh map for this weapon and you'll see what we're running here secondary uh complements this weapon pretty well or at least it's a lot of fun here as well so the apc 300 again this is uh introduced by bruger and thummit the apc 556 and 300 and 308 were introduced at shot show 2015 i believe is when it was first introduced apc standing for advanced police carbine now th this is just as it sounds for police and security force usage um there are in the works for military designs and military applications for this weapon. 
and the APC 300, as I said, typically it's firing the 300 Whisperer. Here it's firing the 300 Blackout. They're both the same side cartridge. They just very minor differences, which we won't get into in this video. But the size is a 762 by 35 millimeter. In this case, we're running subsonic 300 Blackout rounds. So it's going to be a heavier, uh, f heavier, heavy round, heavier round, which is going to travel at subsonic speed. Um, so it's going to be very quiet. And when it's suppressed like that, it's going to be extra quiet. So that's really nice. The length of the weapon overall is going to be anywhere from for the 300, 300 version is going to be 797 millimeters to uh, 564 millimeters. Now, the action for this weapon is a gas operated rotating bolt. The color typically it's coming in black and you have material is aluminum. So it's a lighter weapon coming in at a weight of 8.4 pounds for the 300 version. Rate of fire, as we said, is 600 rounds per minute. And then we also have the length in inches would be 21 to 32 inches. The twist rate is one to seven. And the barrel length, depending, as I said, is gonna be anywhere from 8.7 to around 10 and a half with a thread pitch of five eighths by 24. So that's the APC 300 coming with a standard 30 round magazine. And um, the weight, as we said, uh, varies slightly between the 300 and the um, between the 300 and the 5x6 version of the weapon. Now, one thing you'll remember is that this weapon, the ISO, I believe it was just called the ISO in Modern Warfare 2019. That was the APC-9, so also by B&T or Bruger and Thummit. Um, the APC-9 is a 9x19 Parabellum version, or not a version of this, but kind of a little brother that they offer um, as part of their line. So that was available in Modern Warfare 2019. I'm assuming we'll probably... Um, see the ISO back at some point since they did add this platform. So really this, this new platform, the ISO, uh, platform being reintroduced, it would make sense that they add the, the submachine gun version, the APC nine eventually, especially because here we have right here, we've just showed you pretty much the two different versions of this weapon already, the, the base five, five, six version, and then the 300 version. So those are two different versions there. We have a bunch of different variants, which I'll cover probably a separate video going through all the variants for this weapon let me know what you guys think of this weapon down below are you happy with this weapon uh would you wish something else came i really like this weapon i think this is everyone asking for the acr and uh i remember there was uh, some of the on on set shots at the edge of that played gaz with a different weapon um back in the, for that original reveal trailer that live action one and he pr Everyone was thinking he had an ACR, and it most likely was this. And I remember the debate then was uh, definitely an ACR. But like I said, the thing you need to keep in mind is a lot of these more modern modular type weapons, they all look very, very similar. So this this looks almost indistinguishable from a lot of different weapons. When I first looked at this in the in the reveal, I thought it was the uh, I thought it was the Bren 2 <laughs> or the Bren 805. So they all look very, very similar. It looks very similar to Scarlight as well. There's very minor differences with a lot of these weapons, but uh, look-wise, they all do look relatively the same. So I'm pretty happy to add this weapon. I really do enjoy the attachments that come with it. I think the grip, it has a, it has a nice couple of muzzle devices. The custom optics, it has the optic that I showed off, and then it also has a really nice uh, thermal optic on there as well. So this is a really good good weapon. And again, the fact that you can swap between 5x6 and 300 Blackout, I think is really good. And I think we're going to see more of this going uh, forward into the next seasons instead of adding two different weapons um, for the platform for different calibers. They're going to kind of revert back in some cases to what we saw in Modern Warfare 2019 where you just do an ammo or a mag swap uh, to do something like that. So that's the changes here with this weapon. Really nice addition to the game. I really enjoy it. You can see the gameplay uh got a nice 20 kill streak going here 28 kill streak going almost hit that nuke but this thing is a lot of fun to use the slow rate of fire makes it easy to control however depending on the attachments it can kick a little bit so you just got to keep that in mind make sure you, you're using the right attachments to complement the weapon we'll go into some more tactical builds in the future let me know your thoughts down below if you're enjoying the content be sure to like the video subscribe to the channel for more weapon conversion tactical mil sim type gameplay uh do a lot of dmz in this channel we'll be covering a lot of that here this season on uh ashka island let me know your thoughts down below. All my social media links are also down below in the description. We have uh, Twitch, Discord, 
Instagram, Twitter, all of that. Best place to get a hold of me are probably going to be Instagram, Twitter, or uh, Discord. You can message me there. We have a really good community in the Discord, so go ahead and join up there. I think we're a little bit over 500 now, so that community is growing. A lot of like-minded people who love uh, more modern, milsim, uh, weapon conversions, all that stuff. So we have a lot of channels there for different games outside of just modern warfare as well. So let me know your thoughts down below. What do you like about this weapon? What do you dislike? What weapons do you want to see in future seasons of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and Season 3 and beyond? What different conversions do you hope they add or platforms for this weapon or other weapons? Let me know your thoughts down below. Leave you guys with the gameplay. Till next time, this is Buckner Gaming with the BNT Advanced Police Carbine chambered in 300 black out the APC 300. Till next time, Buckner Gaming out.